And uh, there was a question in there about a uh, when you overpay a bill in QuickBooks. And so I wanted to go through and show you uh, kind of what happens there and how you can capture that. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen here. Okay. So now we have QuickBooks. All right. This is QuickBooks 2013. And as an example, if we go to vendors, pay bills, we've got our pay bill screen here, and you'll see there's two for Cal Gas and Electric. Okay. And th this happens sometimes. You overpay a bill, you know, things just happen. You might have typed in the bill originally wrong. Uh, maybe you typed in the payment amount wrong. Who knows? But it happens. Okay. So we're going to pay Cal Gas and Electric. And it says 2243. Now, it could be that you're trying to pay down a balance or something too. So let, let's say we did 3243. Okay. And so it's actually $10 higher. All right. Well, QuickBooks is not really saying anything that, hey, this is higher than normal. So we're going to pay selected bill. And I'm just doing assign a check number. Okay. And it shows that. And if we go to pay more bills, you'll see that Cal Gas and Electric, there's the other one here. Now the credit here shows up $10. Okay. So then to use that credit, see when you check it off, it's going to automatically show the 122.68. And uh, to set the credit, it's here. It'll automatically check that off for the $10. And we hit done. And you'll see that it will use it here and reduce the amount to pay down to 112.68. Okay. It's as easy as that. Okay. All right. So we hit pay selected bills. And again, I'll just do EFT. And we're done with that. So that's as easy as it is. All right. Now, and, and you have to differentiate that, that if somebody sends you, a vendor sends you something and you say enter bills and you do a credit here, if they send you a bill that shows a credit but you don't have it in your system, this is how you would record it here. But if you overpay a bill, it's going to show up that credit as well. All right. If you have any questions whatsoever, these are, these are all questions from the forum. Uh, the QuickBooks University forum, which you have access to when you join the QuickBooks University. And uh, so these questions are the type of questions I answer all the time in there, and there's hundreds of these questions. And I'll answer some of these uh, through the Google Plus, through the channel here, and also posting these to YouTube. So if you have any questions, feel free to go to the forum. And if you are not a member yet, yet go ahead and sign up at www.qbuniversity.org. Thanks so much.